And hello everybody, I'm the Roguescaper. Just a real quick video today. Uh, so I got some Sentinels of Jandar here and got them all painted up. Looking pretty, pretty good. As good as, as needed. <laughs> and uh, the only problem is they are missing their bespoke shield icons. Now, of course, you can work on, you know, freehanding these. My freehand is still in development. Uh, it's a skill that has been finally honed. So I'm going to give you a way to kind of hack it and honestly make it look more like the official figures. So I have here uh, some cutouts from what is water slide decal paper. Uh, this is kind of the method I'll be going over briefly just to kind of teach you how to apply. At least work for the, um, these work really well for the Sentinels, the Minions, uh, especially like things like Flag Bearers, um, Death Walkers, if you want to put some number decals. This is a very transferable uh, skill. Even um, you can use it for Gladiatrons, Blastatrons, and the like. Uh, so if you're looking to kind of not have blank shields, um, I definitely recommend trying this method out. Yeah, nice. It's going to be nice and simple to do. And uh, let's get started. So first off, you'll want to have some water. Uh, this thing called micro set. This helps the kind of uh, water slide transfer firmly kind of move and get settled onto the shield. And then lastly, the completed part of this, you'll want some micro sole. Um, when you print your decals, which I will link the ones I've created so far, uh, you want to, um, you know, first make sure you put the back part into the printer. Uh, make sure you have the appropriate inkjet or uh, laser jet, just depending on your printer. And you want to use some acrylic uh, sealant or varnish over it. Uh, so do about two layers after the ink has dried. Just kind of spray it, let it dry, and spray it again. That causes it to be water resistant. These things are called water slide decals. As we'll find out that they kind of remove the backing by sliding off in the water. Uh, you'll definitely also want to have some kind of fine tip tweezers as if you use this with your fingers, it's, uh, it's going to be really hard to do. Right. So you want to grab your thing and let it soak in the water for about 30 seconds to a minute and a half. And let it soak there. While that's soaking, you want to put the micro set onto the area that you want to affix. Use an old brush. Uh, you may notice this stuff has kind of a strong vinegary smell. It doesn't seem toxic. It just uh, it has just a strong odor to it. Definitely would recommend drinking it. Uh, so just kind of put that heavily onto the area you want to go. You can also use like a you know, Q-tip or something else if you want to use this one of your brushes. And then once you take that out, you're going to want to This is the hardest part. You kind of want to separate it so that you have kind of that clear, transparent parts. And then very carefully uh, fix it onto. Very carefully affix it onto the shield center as much as possible and uh, I definitely recommend using you know a exacto knife when you cut this off the printed sheet uh, just as you want to kind of try to cut it as close to the image as possible that way you have less kind of layer lines to get it up so once it has been put on I'm gonna just put a tiny bit more micro set onto it In. Now you're going to want to wait a few minutes for this to dry uh, and then we'll come right back to it. So uh, a couple minutes and we'll return. So we're looking pretty good here. Uh, then pretty much the next step is you're going to want to put some micro sole. This is pretty much the softening solution and it a lot kind of uh, removes bit of the border and seals it in. So make all your adjustments beforehand. 
uh, get out for it, get your micro soul, don't need much, and just seal it on right there. You could do a couple coats if you want it a bit more established, but essentially that's it. It works really great for a lot of things. Uh, you know, you can even kind of design your own. And, you know, I plan on putting some on, on Iron Lich Viserot, some kind of number decals or revenue symbol, uh, kind of as a kind of uh, like cat, uh, you know, like machine equipment. This one here, I put it upside down, try to avoid that as that will cause some bleeding. If you notice that a lot of your pieces are bleeding through, try to reseal them. They might not be fully sealed. Definitely, uh, you want to make sure your whole thing is kind of painted to the point. So, if you're any layers or highlights, definitely make sure you get to that. Just very carefully. Try not to touch it, peel it off. And the best part is just putting it on. It's not always perfect. Sometimes you might need to kind of roll it off. And then once you get it off, just put it where you want it to go. Look at that. You can spend hours freehanding or you can cheat. Painting the happiest painters are the ones that know how to cheat the most. Again, you let that dry, seal that up with some microset. Probably put two layers on that. And notice how it kind of isn't so soft. It does respond really nicely to the folds. The micro sole is very important because it gives you that ability to kind of reposition it and move it around. But that looks pretty good to me. You know, with Scape coming up, with uh, ScapeCon coming up, uh, I know people might be fielding Templars based off last year's success. So now you can actually have properly be crossed Templars on your field of battle, or properly shielded uh, Sentinels. And let's try to do one more just for the sake of this video. I think I have some partially finished. I have a half finished uh, Utgar here. He's good enough to do this example. And you just do it. Just one more time. with an exacto knife again uh, a lot of these files are files i kind of designed from the ground up uh, and tried to resize as accurately as possible those will all be available for you in the description below so that you don't have to redesign a car's minion symbol from scratch in water that soak for a little bit when you uh, print these try to print as many as you can uh because man, this paper is affordable but i mean you don't want to waste your money try to print a bunch of symbols because you never know you might want to do some more research. and certainly if you're trying to design your own also mistakes happen like this just got folded over it's just kind of part of the process i'm talking so i'm not paying full attention um, but make sure you have lots of extras in case, in case something doesn't go right. 
in my recent um, repeat video, I did a lot of this kind of use just to, you know, I put custom decals on the Omnicrons, I put uh, these mini and the guard stickers on the Phantom Knight, the Phantom Calvary. Uh, There's a lot of fun uses, you know, if you have even half of graphic design experience. You can just design your own. I find I just get a measurement and try to measure it as close as possible. Always try to go a bit smaller than a bit bigger. And see, this is one I didn't cut off the edges. If you don't, you can try to fold them over and have it blend in. But that's why you want to try to cut as close as possible. Sure. Start over and cut it better. <laughs> this is more just to show that the symbols do work. And yeah, definitely cut like those corner pieces off. But then once all those dry, just go through, get your come to really easy way to make your figures come to life. Um, usually they do kind of the papers come have it be a bit glossy so you may want to varnish it with some dull coat or some matte coat so it doesn't have as much of a sheen and you know definitely cut it close. Cut it as close as possible otherwise it may extend the length of your shield or your whatever it's at always try to go smaller than bigger it's uh <laughs> especially with weird shaped shields like this but all in all once it's said and done well thanks so much for watching I say that a lot but i really am thankful for everyone that tunes in stay tuned i am working on the frost claw tutorial i'm gonna go through how to get these guys all looking nice and ready for battle so stay tuned for that um Escape Con's coming up. Looking forward to seeing everyone there. If you do use these decals and beat me at Escape Con, well, you're welcome. I'm looking forward to losing to some decal in Templar Cavalry. Uh, now that I've given you the secrets. <laughs> uh, thanks so much, and you all take care. Bye.